What's going on guys? Vic Vivi back on the Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, the final piece to the puzzle for my WWF Data East Royal Rumble. From Retro Refurbs, I got a new Translite. Let's unbox, compare it side by side from an original 30 year old Translite and we'll give it a review. Let's take a look. This thing came from Croatia. I hope it's good. <laughs> Alright guys, you know the drill. If you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Yeah. Be sure to follow because you would see uh, how this happened. <laughs> Again, be sure to follow me on all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you think of this Translite, and let me know your opinions on what I paid for it, and uh, I guess how long it took for me to get it. This is just awkward, because you're just so far, far away. But yes, be sure to go like, subscribe, and follow. Do it! <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta walk all the way over here to turn off the camera. <laughs> All right, well, as you can see, the garage is pretty packed. Uh, yeah, just stay tuned for videos on that. I don't know if this video is going to air before those or after those, but be sure to stay tuned. Also, it is summertime, so no matter what, uh, sweaty pits all day. But I'm going to most likely keep you guys there and bring you maybe to the left a little bit as we do an unboxing of this Translite. I have not opened this. I'm excited for it. Uh, I'm going to tell you the exact date that I ordered it. I'll tell you what I paid for it. Um, and let me just real quick give you a rundown. Yes, you are looking at, again, my pride. I, I love this thing. I don't think this thing I could sell it. This might have to move down to the basement. This is my WWF Data East Royal Rumble 1994. Man, it's been an amazing journey. But it's like every time I touch something, something does happen. Uh... I did mention it on a live stream on what happened to the Translite. I'll just kind of re-say it right now. Uh, if you look kind of carefully, I'll do some B-roll shot. The Translite, the original Translite, this is the original. This is 30 years old. Um, you know, once I started working on things and all that, I kind of took a quicker look and closer look, I should say, at the Translite. And I discovered at the bottom here, there was like these orange water stains. And... Uh, it's one of those things that once you see it, um, you can't unsee it. So I decided one day, let me take off the back box. I'll take off this glass here. Let me remove the translite and I'll try to scrub away, you know, this orange spot or yellow spot. And sadly, when I did that, I actually ripped the translite. This translite was actually like adhered to the glass. That's how wet it got. And, um, uh, it kind of was I kind of regretted touching it. I was like, why did I touch it? Um, anyway, though 120 bucks later now we have a new translate But yes, this is kind of exciting because we could unbox this again. The company is retro refurbs I'll put we'll talk about the company. This isn't paid. I paid for my product um, I just I don't see any reviews of this company. So I'm just happy. It's here I'm gonna talk into it It'll be pretty cool to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Again, this is an original 30-year-old Translite, and then we'll see what the new one looks like. But yes, uh, basically I went, I tried to clean it. I thought these water spots were like on the glass, and um, I believe it's actually just, it's, it's actually on the, the actual Translite. Um, seeing from reviews, people said that the heat from the halogens, like the flashers that are in the back box, it basically made some condensation and that's where you get your kind of water droplets water kind of effect going on so right now i'm going to unbox this we'll do it side by side i'm going to take this off i'm going to remove the old translite i do have to clean the glass so i'm not going to record that process but yes let's get to it let's talk about retro refurbs and let's do an unboxing so once i ripped my translite i now had to go and find a replacement and it's kind of crazy, it's, it's, I'm gonna say it, it's nearly impossible to find a replacement translate. Now, of course, obviously, someone's gonna go, Vic, it's very easy, you could find the translate. I had the toughest time, 
And all I can say is that I'm grateful for this company because this is the only company I could find that had a trans life, especially for a WWF Data East Royal Rumble. I actually emailed them. Again, let's just go nice and slow. Again, the name of the company is Retro Refurbs. Uh, look at the description down below. I'll put it. Again, it's RetroRefurbs.com. The person that was helping me out is, in, is goes by the name of George. Um, if you go to their website, they have a couple of trans lights. As far as the Royal Rumble, there's actually two alternate trans lights. And I didn't like them. And it, upon now they fixed their website. I shot them an email and I said, hey, do you happen to have the original Royal Rumble? They only had these two or one alternate trans light. And the guy was like, oh shoot. Um, thank you for letting us know it was, it, it should be there, but it actually wasn't on their website. So I'm glad to have helped out. Basically they discovered that it wasn't on their website and then they put it up and, uh, they did give me like a coupon code, uh, for that. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. An easy trade off. I spent, uh, it, it was in pounds. It's 98 pounds. That translates to about $125 shipped and landed to me. Now, the one big thing is. I didn't know this, but if you look very carefully at their fine print, they actually print to order. It's kind of like custom made to order. They don't have stock. Um, I made the purchase on June 13th. Today, it came in the mail today. Today is July 1st. So June 13th to July 1st, it took about two and a half weeks to get it. And I didn't know this, but it does come from Croatia. So it is what it is. I'm not going to complain about it. Um, I, like I said, I didn't realize it till later on that they, they print custom made to order. So it's like you have to put the order in and then they will print and proceed. So without further ado, let us unbox it and then we're going to put it side by side. It's kind of weird. I don't really do unboxing videos. Uh, I did have to take off the paper that had like my address on it. So yes, without further ado, all right. It's at least actually, it's actually printed very nicely on Translite. But, oh, this is the one thing I was worried about. This was the one thing I was worried about. Um, it's not awful. It it does look like it's like oversaturated. Uh, I don't know if you guys could see that. Damn. Everything is up. It's, I'm doing this live. This is my live reaction. I mean, I, I do like the paper that they printed this on. Don't get me wrong, I do like the paper that it's printed on. And this was honestly one thing in the preview photo, it looks saturated. Is that the word? I, I hope I'm using the right word. It's basically, I mean, Brit Hetman Hart, you could definitely see that from there. It's like, um, it's like it's darker. Damn. I don't know now. <laughs> I don't know. But. Man. <laughs> this is live. I, I, this is a live reaction right now. It, it's really kind of like what they had on the website. And that was the one thing I feared. Then again, it's like, it's 30 years old. So it's like, why is it washed out? Their translate is just thick though. It's, it's a thick translate. I'm very surprised by it. All right, so I, again, I'm shooting this live. Uh, it's like right now, I'm like, do I take this old one off? I'll be honest, I just, I, my eyes gravitate right here to the rip. So no matter what we, I am going to change it. Maybe it'll look a little bit better or different once like the lighting hits it. But, um, yeah, we're gonna, I'm, I have to do the change. It's it, like this right here. Again, when you see it in the B roll, this right here just annoys the shit out of me. 
Um, so I'm um, right now we're gonna take off the the actual original translate. I'm gonna keep the original obviously um, I'm gonna hopefully try to salvage as much this way worst case. It's just you know, you can always swap it back but Again, these like water droplets. It's that original translate is like fused to the glass now um yeah, all right. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm gonna basically put this up and uh, you'll see me when I get back. All right, so I got the back glass on the counter. I already removed the edges here. Again, I'm gonna kind of do it gently. I already removed it, so this is being held down by like some pieces of black electrical tape. But again, the main thing is if I could gently, oh, I did. All right. All right, like I said, I removed it, but you could see the water droplets here. They are fused in. So right here, you can see it didn't technically rip. It's just the ink is still attached to the glass. So it is what it is. Now, just to show you real quick, if you actually look at the translate, you can kind of see it right here. Yep. That is the ink that came off the print. So I now have to Windex and clean this. Let's real quick though, I do have the trans lights there. Let's try to compare them real quick before I put it on the glass. All right, so check it out. We have the original trans light here. And then we have the new trans light there. Make sure to get both in the same frame. All right, well, we got the new translate in. Again, it's maybe because like I'm just so used to seeing like my original. Um, definitely got to power on. Let's do that. It's time for the WWF Beta East Royal Rumble. Got a bowl in the shooter lane. I mean, honestly, now that it's it's like on, now that the lighting's on, it doesn't look it doesn't look that bad to be honest with you. It doesn't. It doesn't. Maybe we just. I mean, honestly, with the game off, you could tell it's like not. It's not the original. All right, now that the track mode sounds are off, you guys let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think? I'm still definitely gonna send them an email. Um, it's, I think it's like, is it the contrast? Is that the wording? It's either the contrast or saturation. Um, I don't know. It's definitely something. <laughs> Cause you know, right now, like for example, like Brett Hitman Hard, he's like pink. And like now he's like a, I don't know, a, it's a dark pink. Uh, Yokozuna red though is is red. Whereas like this is like on the pinker side. I don't know. Like I said, I am also keeping in mind that this original one is 30 years old. So, you know, was this originally it? If it was, I would, like I said, my only suggestion is maybe just tone down the contrast or the saturation. The Data East logo looks great. And again, here it's like yellowed. So, I don't know. I don't know, now that I see it on, I, uh, I'm i growing to like it. It's staying. I mean, I'll be honest, I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't deal with seeing Macho Man ripped here. And it's just like, it's still like wet. But yeah, this is not going in the trash though. This is gonna be rolled up. I'm gonna put it in the tube. This will stay with, just like I have the original DMD with this. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? Am I over exaggerating it? All in all, it's staying. It definitely is gonna stay. It was a must. I did need this for my Royal Rumble. Um, the last thing, again, right now this is considered 99.9%. .9%. I'm like done, this is done. It's just more about do I wanna take that step of painting the black on this cabinet? I don't know, you'll have to stay tuned. I will do an official, uh, an official, an official video completing the WWF Data East Royal Rumble, talking about everything that I've gone through with it. Uh, again, now that I see it on, I've grown to I've grown to like it. I'll play a couple of games. Again, it's like when you have it off, it definitely just 
it's dark, but um, it is what it is. I'll let Andrew know. And uh, yeah, there you go. Retro refurbs, new translate in on my WWF Data East Royal Rumble. Now also keep in mind before this video ends, I do have LEDs in the back box. So I, I do wonder possibly what it would look like with halogens, but I feel like it would look worse with halogens. I don't know. Right now, I dig it. I'm happy. I think it's I think it's good. I would just say, hey, tone down the saturation. And uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Big VP Game Case Arcade. Stay tuned for more videos and officially finishing up the Royal Rumble. Who knows? Maybe uh, next week or two, we're going to bring it down to the basement and add it to the collection. Big VP Game Case Arcade. It's time to rumble. <laughs> Just in case somebody wants, we'll do some quick gameplay. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I'll turn off the lights. Turn off the garage lights. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 